Yo, what up, my dudes? Welcome to the Quick Start Guide, if you have just purchased and received your Kronos Zen device. Now, just wanted to let you guys know, there are going to be some updates on my channel. Here's some of the projects and videos that I currently have in the works, so you guys have an idea of what we're working on and what we're going after, and what to look forward to. This is more specific around the personal training and coaching uh, physiology around gaming uh, specifically but I do also have a lot of um, FPS tutorials and some guides coming out with different types of games so you guys can get an idea of the practical application and crossover effects that coaching and training can specifically have on FPS shooters not just Destiny but also COD, Halo 5, a few of the others that are coming out. Alright, when you get your Zen, here's the little box that it's going to be shipped to you in. So this is what you are looking for. When you open up your little box, you've got your Zen in this nice little tucked away spot directly in the middle. And the cables for the Zen, there are three of them, are tucked away behind it. Now here's the cables that we're going to be working with primarily. The small cable, the 12 inch cable up top, is what we're going to use first. And then the other cable is going to come into play a little bit later when you download Zen Studio. But the first cable that we're going to be playing with is the one that is right there up top. Now, before you can do any of that, you need to find your way over to the uh, website, which is Chronos Downloads or ChronosMax.com slash downloads. If you Google it, this is what you're going to look for. And uh, directly from from Google, clicking onto that one, it's going to bring you over to their web page. Now, when you get to their web page, these are the things that you're going to look at immediately. Go ahead and click the download button for the Zen Studio. If you have Chronos Zen, this is the uh, this is the software, whatever you want to call it, that you're going to be uh, working off of. So that's the first thing. Download that and put that on your desktop. Now, the next thing we're looking at, Collective Minds, they have a, uh, a firmware tool that you're going to have to upload onto your Kronos Zen device. So I would say go ahead and click here. Now as you click there, um, actually I'm so sorry, uh, what you need to do just after or just before in this case, uh, connect your 12 inch cable and then uh, hook that up to your PC. I say PC because we've had issues with people using laptops and tablets where it has not worked because the adaptive whatever is not as strong as a PC. So use a PC if you can. After you've hit your click here on the Collective Minds Update tool, here's what you're looking at. It's going to say, please select your device to continue, because it didn't register it immediately. On the back of the Zen, there's that little button, and that's what you're going to push and hold down for three seconds. That little button right there is what we're going to be using. And then you're going to see something that's known as the Zen Bootloader. That's going to show up on your Zen device, and then from there, you'll be able to move forward please select your device to continue. So that's what we're looking for. After you hit that little button on the back and hold down for three seconds, you're gonna have this pop up on your screen. Select firmware. Now, this is specific. Go ahead and hit continue and everything should go as planned and this should just download onto your device. But save this step for later and come back to it if you get an error. So going back to the firmware, go ahead and hit continue. And right after you hit continue, here's what we're looking at. It's going to say begin update. It does have uh, the other older versions, but this is the one we're looking at. The one that is the most updated as of right now. Hit that, you're going to get the screen that says flashing firmware. Please wait. Dun dun dun. So waiting and waiting, it's going to go ahead and upload onto your Zen device and then update complete. You don't need to hit start over. I'd say just go ahead and exit out of all of this. Now, here's what you're going to need next. You're going to need this cable. That cable needs to be hooked up to the right side of the Zen. I'm going to give you a quick photo shot of that. There you go. Hook that into your computer. You may get a screen that says you need to update a little bit more. You shouldn't, but you might, so just be aware of that. Now, here's where um, the Zen itself needs to be registered. What we're looking for when you, when you plug in that longer, that bigger cable to the right side of the device is... Um, is essentially an update and it's going to take you to this page and all the cool things up top the tabs that I just mentioned uh, before these are what you're going to be working with now moving along um, once everything's updated and you move along hit the programmer button tab and here's where it's going to take you 
you got your left side right there full of cool little things that you can check out you've got your games right here that you can scroll through and there's a ton of them that you can that you can look at and you got eight different spots that you can put different settings into so that's pretty cool eight different loadouts potential loadouts scroll down to the game you want we are going to pick destiny 2 and then after you scroll and bring that down you're going to get this to pop up and that is where you're going to do a lot of the work to update the settings that you prefer for your in-game whatever now right after you're done doing whatever you need to do and putting everything in there hit that button right there that little button the home plate <laughs> it's gonna save everything you'll get an animation saying success and then from there we're gonna work on hooking it up to your Xbox or your PS4 now this is how I hook it up you can take your 12 inch cable and use that to hook up directly into your Xbox if you have the uh, Xbox Elite cable that's what I would suggest using hooking that up into the right port of the Zen device itself from there you're gonna see that it's gonna pop up and the lights gonna turn green that means tournament mode and then scroll through by pressing that button on the right there and you'll see here is spot number one destiny 2 now I wanted to give you an example of in-game footage of me testing something so here is the Huckleberry one of the exotic submachine guns pretty crazy harder device to tame harder weapon to tame that is here's Zen with anti-recoil so you can tell what the device does is it actively pulls down on your right thumbstick so that you do not have to work on controlling it quite as much. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Hopefully this helps you out. Good luck to you. If you uh, feel like liking and subscribing, go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.